Like most other people, I'm still sitting at my home office. Although I do have a lot of equipment, we still need to think about how we can get back to the offices and how we can support it to include everybody sitting remotely. So one of the things that we really have thought about is how we can use the meeting rooms using the Microsoft Teams rooms to do Skype and Teams natively, but then again also using Zoom or Cisco WebEx to use the equipment that we already have in the meeting room. So how do we do that? I have enhanced my Teams rooms down here, the console, and I have the screen over there. So just a look alike of how it would look into a Microsoft Teams rooms with a dual screen setup. It is also possible to use it with a single screen and then it will be a slightly different layout. But here is how it worked. So you got the console in the meeting table and you can walk up to the screen and hit the join button. So when you hit the join button, it will actually start the meeting. So right now I'm getting prompted in my Teams application running on the same PC. So let me admit my Teams room since it's running on a, on a different uh, account. So this is how it would look like. Well, normally it will be presentation on that side and then my video feed over here. So this is how it would work. Um, let me shut down that call. But another thing that a lot of people is not aware of is that the Teams rooms can actually also do a Zoom call and a Cisco WebEx call. So it's pretty easy to set up. It's just a few settings in the, the app bin or in the settings directly on the system. But here is how it's done. So when it's connected, and configured for Zoom calling and Cisco WebEx calling. If you forward an invite to your Teams room, so the same account, no need to do anything else. You can walk up to the native Teams rooms and then be able to join a Zoom call directly from the console. So here is how that looks like. So if I join the Zoom call, I'm connected uh, to Zoom on my um, PC down here. So this is how it would look like. Um, so imagine that I'm sitting from home on this system and then I'm connected in uh, the meeting room over here. So this is uh, the meeting room display and then the Zoom uh, will appear down on the console as well. One of the things that you can get when you're running a Zoom call is that you can actually enable the meeting down on the device as well. Some people like to use that because then you are actually able to stand in front of the screen during a presentation, but then still be able to see the people down on the console. Another thing that you can do on the console, since you have the entire display down here, you can mute, you can shut down your camera if you somehow would like that, but you can actually also go here and then be able to chat directly in the system. So one of the features that a lot of people is not aware of is actually available already. And I mean, since that we are all working in this hybrid work uh, or hybrid workspace, we need to be able to, con to join as many meetings as possible. And even though we are on a Teams platform, everybody might not be on the Teams platform yet. So if you get an invite for a Zoom call or a Cisco WebEx call, you will need to do something else. And instead of sitting on your own PC, then you are actually able to do it right on the Teams, uh, Teams meeting room itself. So the configuration, and that will need to be an admin to go into there. You will need to go into the admin setting. The default password on the admin setting is SFB. And as you see here, there's a lot of different things that you can do. But if you go to the meetings tab, you can actually right here, select or enable or enable um, the ability to actually call from your Teams rooms to Cisco, WebEx or Zoom directly. 
And if you're joining with the Zoom as well, you can actually join with either the room information. And since I'm working from home, I'm simply have added my custom information. So it's connecting with Lars Barlow room. And then I'm able to connect to a Zoom call as well. So unfortunately, I couldn't remember how to add a Cisco WebEx call from my phone because that's only where I have the Cisco Webex. Um, so, but basically it is the same with Cisco Webex. Walk up to the meeting room, hit the join button, and then it will connect to the call. The things that the Teams Room is actually doing is that it's using WebRTC. So using WebRTC means that it actually connects to the Chromium browser and then connects it into a call. It's pretty basic. We have used that in the video conference industry for quite a while. So it's a very neat way of doing it. And we call it direct guest join. What that means is that it connecting in the browser does also mean that it's limited to also only using one screen right now at least. And if you're using the physical HDMI cable, the HDMI ingest is not working. So you, if you're sharing content, for instance, in a Zoom call, you would need to go to your own application or open a browser and at zoom.us, no, sorry, share.zoom.us, and then you will be able to share directly from there as well. So there is a little bit of limitations, but the ability to walk into the meeting room and actually join a Zoom call or a Cisco WebEx call from your Teams rooms, that is a great feature. So I hope that you will go and enable this because even though we all mostly all of us on a Teams platform, there could be an issue with some people getting invited to a Cisco WebEx or a Zoom call, and then you would be able to do it directly from your native Teams rooms. Thank you so much for watching. I am Lars Bella working at Tech Data Merrick in the Nordics, and I'm working primarily with Microsoft Teams, the Teams rooms. Great investment to your meeting room when you're getting back to the offices. So thanks you. Thank you for watching. See you out there. Bye.